All right, next, uh, I will show you how you can make a uh, mix builder. Uh, what you need is uh, the stepper motor called through shaft stepper motor, not like the other stepper motor. It has a through shaft like this. And you can see it's hollow. So it will push it up and down and in and out, like move it this way. Uh, this one has pros and cons. Uh, later, I will talk more about this one. Personally, I like to use this one because it's, it has auger screw inside. And uh, this one, you can feed the clay with a larger container and other stuff. But I like it. But to use this one, you need to use an air compressor. So I will talk about this one later. But also, I will share the STL file for this one as well. So today, uh, we're going to make this one. So you need to get a uh, through shaft motor and some three different parts, fasteners, uh, M3, uh, 10 millimeter, uh, four of those, and also a little longer, uh, M3 bolt. So for this one, in this case, this one should be just slightly shorter than uh, your, shorter than your, uh, the length of your stepper motor. For example, uh, last time, a few years, a couple of years ago, few years ago, I shared uh, how the plan, how to make this one. Just differences between this one and that one is the length of the stepper motor and also the uh, the screw, uh, threaded shaft has different pitch and different diameter too. It doesn't really matter which one you use. Uh, if you can get a through shaft motor, it'll be fine. It either this one or that one. Uh, I share the link um, on the supply list. Um, one downside of this one is as it doesn't have a gearbox or something, it doesn't have too much torque. But uh, something good thing about this one is, uh, I'm gonna choose this one syringe as an extruder. It's really easy to make uh, and also portable too. So I like to use this one for my, like I made it for myself so I can travel. Also, I hope, I hope you know, uh, my student can try print like this type of 3D printing uh, clay at home. So anyway, uh, so 3D printed part, you got all the STL files and this one is for the Delta style printer. It will fit here and you do need a box fan 40 millimeter like you can get four of those for something 10 12 dollar or something i did some wiring if you want you know you can have this uh, kind of the cable wrap if not it's okay too but just it's easy to organize all the cables so first of all this one i'm going to take it out uh, you do need to take out two of those bolt uh, in this video, uh, I'm just kind of going through all the steps, but I have another video, not video, instruction to make this one is technically the same thing. Like I'm using all the same parts. So like one of this, uh, we're gonna put the box, the fan here. So first of all, take out those two bolt. Uh, you need uh, this Phillips driver. Then you can put, those two here. Uh, when you when you when you print it, sometimes there is a because of some uh, filament just sagged here. Just clean it up, and you can put your uh, screw here, uh, bolt, and then put it this way and tighten it. Later, uh, okay. Later, we're gonna put uh, this to hold the, uh, the so, syringe. I'm not sure you can see it. You don't have to, the screw doesn't hit all the way through. Just it should, there should be a little space here, at least two millimeter at halfway. So actually the other, I put this screw here, it's around here right now. Then uh, let's put the fan. Uh, based on the direction, I'm going to put it this way. If you have a fan cover, it's good to have a fan cover. If not, it is okay. Just, you know, you, you don't need to touch it here. And put those two bolt, and then there are two holes here as well, and tighten it. 
it's not the best option to be honest with you but uh it is better than nothing uh when extruder the stepper motor works it gets pretty warm sometimes hot this fan will like help it cool down the stepper motor and then uh four pin connector there we go and then yep this is it almost, that's almost it and then once you get this uh, we have two more m3 10 millimeter so yeah, so like not sure you can see it's not super clean inside. Maybe hold on, just need to clean it a little bit. Right. Then uh, once I put it, the extruder is done. So this one, uh, I like to use a 60cc syringe. This one can handle approximately uh, 20 to 30 minutes print. And it's, you know, you can, it's very affordable as well and easy to get. So like syringe, I'll take it out. I will need this one. Uh, this is a printed part, and this one perfectly fit. There we go. Then later we're gonna load clay here, and put this piece on here, and put it like this. Then put the thread. Once you do that, for example. through the clay and I will like I'll later I will show how I can load the clay prep the clay and other parts but once you get uh, this part with the extruder it's good uh, later we need to connect it with these uh, circuit board and then like prepping everything uh actually the next step i'm gonna do is start putting together the frame and uh wiring etc so uh for now yep that's, this is it this is it